Welcome to the Early Risers Club Presents podcast. We originally recorded these episodes of season one in March of 2020 at the very beginning of the coronavirus pandemic and lockdown. We hope you enjoy the conversations we had with the artists as we talk about the stories behind the songs and the process that went into making them. Early All Risers right. Club presents. Early Risers Club presents. Right. Early Risers Club presents. <laughs> Featuring Carly Bear. And Bruce Butkovich. Special guest, Sam Lyons. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Hold up in my little cave. <laughs> oh. So how's, um, how's quarantine treating you, Sam? It's going well. It's going well. Yeah. You know. Family affairs. Mm-hmm. You've been keeping know. busy with those videos. Yeah, trying to do music and stuff, so trying to stay yeah. busy. I mean, also trying to rest. I think it's kind of, everyone's like, you have to be productive, but I think... You don't. It, yeah. It's nice to rest, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know. I understand the a certain logic of, okay, you got to find, you know, a schedule or a rhythm... But first, we just have to come to grips with this is the new reality. Yeah. You know, like dealing with that uh, mm. acceptance first is more important. Because then a, a whole new rhythm and schedule is going to fall into place. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. interesting. Know? I've found that, have you guys found that you're just like super busy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. I'm super busy, but I have all the time in the world. It's well, it's such a weird like yeah. you know contradiction because yeah it's like I have well it was you know when I was on spring break <laughs> um, it was definitely like I had way more free time um, now that I'm back in school there's sort of less but it's still just like it's like I had you know a FaceTime call this morning and then I had this and then I've got class later and then I'm working and then I've got like a book club with my dad and my sister tomorrow morning <laughs> and it's just <laughs> like trying to schedule all of these virtual meetings. It's a really interesting yeah. how they just come out of the woodwork. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm great with schedules. I thrive when I have schedules and things to work with because that's how I juggle. Mm-hmm. It's real, real easy. And I'm flexible too, but that's where, like, okay, where can I fit this thing in? Right. You know, where are other yeah. people available? What can I make this happen? And um, I just don't like downtime anyway. So <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Have, have fun in quarantine. <laughs> All right, I have a question. <laughs> yes. Sam, this is called the Early Risers Club Presents, yes. but you're not necessarily one of the early risers at the motel, would you say? Or are you? I am and I'm not. What time would you <laughs> say you typically wake up? 2 p.m. Um, is not early by our standards. I don't wake up at 2. I probably wake up at like 9 on average. Nine on average. Okay, that's not super but, late. We but never I've, see you, Sam. Come on, you can't lie I've to us. I've been to early. I've been to like he has the, actually the he has. latter half of early risers. I'm making before. him defend himself, but he totally is an early riser. I just want to keep asking um, festival related questions. <laughs> yes. I don't know if this is going to be edited out or when this is going to be on the air. Right. But uh, we just got the official announcement that Steelbridge is going virtual. And so I'm really going to miss it. <laughs> I'm going to miss the motel. So I just want to talk about the motel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I should be up there right now. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. should be up at this motel. would be so nice to be there. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Um, Sam, when did you, when was your first festival? Or like when, because you knew about it before you attended, right? Yeah, but not that much, but I heard about it. Yeah. Um, my first year was 20, 2017, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steel Bridge. Yep. Of course, Wally got me up. I always say that. Nice. Okay, so it was Wally Ingram that brought you in. Yeah. Okay. Um, he played in a band with my dad when my dad was younger oh nice called electro love kit oh nice 
a they retro were, love kit. They had some kick-ass songs, and uh, guitar player went and actually toured with English Beat for a while. Oh wow! And then the he like now manages all these like kind of st- st- acoustic stars, kind of. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Forget That's about cool. it. That's cool. I love your dad. Yeah, he's a he's a great man. All right. Well, should we should we get into the songs now? Yeah. Well, hey Sam, you picked two songs. Yes. That you wanted to fanboy over. Which of the two would you like to play first? Filigree. 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 So tell us about Filigree. Why did you pick that? What's the What's the story for you behind you picking Filigree? I don't know. I remember just hearing it in the listening session in my first year. It was 2017, Steel Bridge. And (laughs) for some reason, I just really loved it. And then my friend, it kind of reminded me of a song that, like, maybe my, one of my good buddies would really like. Mm. Um, And it was just, it was a, for some reason, that one kind of got me going. Filigree. It just cracked me up, but also the chords were pretty cool. And Well, it's so it's Robin Benneman, and it's just Robin, right? Yeah. And what I remember about this song is that it does sort of transport you. Like, <laughs> because it's so, yeah. like, slow, and there's that little, like, glockenspiel interlude. And by the time he comes back in with the verse again, I'm just like, like, I am just like floating through like a summer Door County sky. It's a wonky one. That's Mm -hmm. why I like it too. Yeah. Robin's, he's something else. Yeah, I like Robin a lot. I really like Robin. And what festival was this from? Steel Bridge Um, 2017. That was the year. It probably was released 2018. Oh yeah, 2017. That's right. But the year was 2017. That's right. 2017. Well, let's check it out. This is Filigree. (laughs) Yes. Driving through Filigree Through your calf and past your knee Fishnet lace Shadows on my face Sigh as we wake upon Crackling red neon sign History Vibrates vacancy Sets us free Swimming and Frozen custard stand Looking past Sandy magazines Skimpy green bikini 
flying across the bridge. Polka music in the breeze, boring me. I'm with family. We. All right, that was uh, Filigree from Steelbridge 2017, and I misspoke earlier because it wasn't just Robin Veneman; it was Robin and Tony Menzer and Mike Wheeler. Wow. And I believe an uncredited Jenny Veneman on the bells, if I had to guess. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, I'm going to ask a real ignorant question. W- what's a filigree? What does that mean? I could totally Google it, but I I'm going to turn it into a question for us. Filigree Yo is... Yo no say. It's, it's ornamental metalwork. So the filigree oh. is like, yeah, wrought iron ornamentation. So the idea is that it's the bridge. Uh, oh, okay. That's why dri- driving through filigree and then drawing the comparison to fishnet lace. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, it's such a soothing song. Robin's guitar playing, but also just his... Any song that he does, like his vocals, his cadence, just the sound of his voice is always soothing and comforting. Mm. Or Unless he's rapping. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then it's awkwardly like yeah. disjointed and, you know, it all, like he's he's so good about applying himself in such a way that it evokes, you know, certain feelings and emotions and, and pictures. Yeah. I've gotten to write with him a, a few different times and every single time it's like, the songwriting equivalent of a chiropractic adjustment. Like he thinks about things so in such a way that I just don't, he, he just wants to always go to like the unexpected chord or, you know, it's like, if you can anticipate a change, like that's exactly not what he's going to do. Um, yeah. Which is, which is great. You know, I think it's really, it's sort of spilled over into the way that I now approach writing, which is, I think, the the best thing that you can hope for in these collaborations is, like, taking the best of someone else's process and incorporating it into your own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. every, every, every spin or every write is a chance to learn something new because then that's something... It expands your wheelhouse mm-hmm. and the, the, right. the, the, the toolkit, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Good choice, Sam. Good choice. Yeah, off to a good start. Well, let's see. Let's uh, get into another song. Um, um, and actually, <laughs> the perfect thing to bridge the gap right here would be uh, the other Aveline song, which features Robin Benjamin rapping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is the, this? The harder you fire your clay, the harder your clay, the hotter you fire your clay, the harder your clay will get. Um. Aveline says something. She's the, 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 the. I don't know. He's funny. Robin rapping. Robin rapping. <laughs> Can we just actually play that little excerpt? <laughs> I want to hear it. Play it. Let's play it. Yeah, Aveline is. It was like a clay dress or something. I think it is what the sculpture was. We don't have to listen to the whole song, but we should just What's listen to his rap. So this is Robin Benjamin, Jamie Clark, and Storm. The higher you yeah, fire your back clay, it up a little bit, right, right there. <laughs> the higher you fire your clay, the harder your clay, clay will, will get. get. <laughs> and today you can't admire or buy her in a gallery for artists. She's the hardest piece of clay you've ever met. She's just a glorious torso, or so it would seem. And you can see her at the maker's space. Third <laughs> Avenue might have a new ingenue, but Aveline has never seen anything. She, she has, has no, no face. face. Anyway, that's the that's the extent of the rap. <laughs> oh my god. That's why this place is great, because that would not happen anywhere. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Let's do Sam, you got you got another song. And what's funny, though, is Sam's next pick is from the same festival. That was a magical so, festival. <laughs> yeah. So, Love on go. Holiday 2019, Sam's next song pick is Momentarium. Ah, nice. Yeah. Good festival. That was a good year. It was a good vintage. Yep. Why'd you pick the song, Sam? I just like it. I heard Andrea... 
Mike practicing it, and I was like, "Ooh, that sounds really nice." It was some good, good writing and stuff. I don't know how to explain it. I just enjoy enjoy the song. I, I remember everybody got emotional when uh, I forget if it was the well, it was probably the tap rehearsal and the performance. But um, oh yeah, yeah it went great with the video too. Yeah, it really went yeah. great with that. The video. Was really impressive as well. But I just remember the them practicing the song in the tambourine lounge, and um, it was just I was like, oh, that sounds great. Mm-hmm. It was Andrea, Mike, and I don't know who else was on it. So it was written by. Mike Black, Ben Spottle, and Andrea Witkins. Oh, Ben was on it, yeah. Yeah. And and for the, the listeners that don't know, for the Love on Holiday events, uh, we spin into groups of three, but then that group will also spin again for a piece of artwork. And for these songwriters, uh, they actually spun a video. So the, the artwork was a video. And so they wrote this song as basically a soundtrack to to the video and watching them together or watching and listening together it, it's just kind of heart-wrenching and it's hard to explain the video without seeing it but um yeah maybe it's maybe at some point those will that i'd like to happen. see those i'd Dude, like yeah that, i'd like to see those online that would be for, such a nice um thing to have online yeah, just multiple, you know, it, it would be the same video for multiple songs, but you can just see the uh, how creative everyone can be because they're able to pull these different elements from the same inspiration. And this song in particular and its video just, it's, for me, it's immediate. I've always loved this song like, from the get-go. Right. Me too, and, yeah. And then... When it paired up with the video, that was just a little bonus, you know. Yeah. But the song is a really solid song. I think it kind of reminds me of this Ben Fold song I used to listen to when I was really young. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, Which song? Like, I don't know. The uh, It's like the starts with the slow piano. It's like, good morning, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I am yeah. a bird. A bird. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're in a brown Tim polyester shirt. Yeah. Oh, that's a great one. But I used to listen to Ben Folds when I was a kid all the time. My dad mm-hmm. would always play him. Good shit. When I was a little kid. And then It's another um, good songwriter. He knows efficiency and just how to how to touch that emotional nerve. Yeah. And this is definitely a di- I think a little less this song is a little less comical than the Ben Folds one. Mm-hmm. So it's not totally the same, but I think maybe that piano kind of nostalgic vibe mm-hmm. of sorts. Yeah, yeah, that's... I think you just nailed it, the nostalgic vibe. Um, so, from Love on Holiday, Volume 8, this is Momentarium. <laughs> Go 
Momentarium from Love on Holiday, Volume 8, written and recorded in 2019, released in 2020. Yes. Yes. Such a good song. Such a good good festival. Yes. Great song, great festival. And let's see, on that song, written by Andrea Wickens, Mike Bleck, Ben Spottle, that's Andrea on vocals piano and synth ben on guitar mike black on guitar and barrett tasky on vocals and electric guitar Mm. yeah i kind of picked two slow songs which i'm kind of like oh why i shouldn't have picked shouldn't have picked two slow ones (laughs) this is this this is the slow jam slow jam this is a yeah we're easing into the day yeah it's the this Sam is, Lyons slow jam episode. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, it's just get out of bed, grab a cup of coffee, you know. <laughs> Crack an egg on the open fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Early risers club. <laughs> we got coffee, we got eggs. There you go. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's get right to the what time thing, is it, Carly? The thing what we've all been it? waiting for. It's time to spill, spill the, the beans. beans. Oh, fun. For our listeners that don't know, uh, we like to highlight a song. and uh, We chart a song from inception to execution. So, Sam, what song did you pick for Spill of the Beans? Here We Belong, was it? Here We Belong. And it just so happens to be a song that you and Carly co-wrote. <laughs> That's some true. Of that in, some of that insider trading happening. Did you like that I pretended to be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Spill the beans. Uh, All right, so why did you... Yeah, let's talk us. about this. Let's talk about this song. So was this song a spin or was it, was it an outside right? Oh, it was how definitely... Did it, how did this... This was our magical cosmic spin. This was spin. our spin, yeah. We pointed at each other, we spun each other, and... The rest is history. The rest is history. And that was the thing. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna gush a little bit here for a second. But it was the Dark Songs before. So twenty eighteen Dark Songs. Yeah. When you wrote The Girl Who Wasn't There. And that was sort yeah. of like I I'd, I'd known you from, you know, Steel Bridge and everything, but I didn't really like get a sense of of who you were, you know, creatively until I heard that song and I was like, Who the f- <laughs> Who's Killer. this kid? <laughs> and I was like, I need to. I want to write with him. And um, and it was just, it was so yeah, easy. Was... It was easier than I even thought because we started, so we spun, oh gosh, now I'm going to blank on the piece of art and it's not in the spreadsheet. It was the sisters one. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like these these sisters who fled Armenia, I want to say. I'm going to try and avoid any further details cuz I don't want to say anything <laughs> that's wrong. But it was it was all yeah. about they like fled their home country and they were say, they were like heading for America and they set up a business in Sturgeon Bay. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So we started writing that song and then we got stuck, I think. And then we started writing a different song that became Time Don't Mind. And then we came back to the original song, finished that, and then we started writing the third song. Which has not mm. been finished yet, but it was just—it was so. I had a great time. So writing time with you. don't mind was really the gem. If we're taking one out of the three, <laughs> I suggested that. With? I suggested that, but it's—it's it's up to you. 
Um, no, I'm just saying, just in general, do you think, what do you think about the, do you have a favorite of those three? Well, Tucker I like back, the, time, well, Tucker Back is just sort of, you know, my they're white all, whale. <laughs> they're all great, but. <laughs> they're all great, but they're, and they're great for different reasons. So um, yeah. I really liked just the harmonies and the chord progression that we came up with for Here We Belong. Yes. But that that yeah. groove on Time Don't Mind is just. <laughs> well, sticking to Here We Belong and you're talking about the harmonies, let's take a listen to one of the voice memo recordings from early on where you guys are working out some of these parts and now does vincent sing on this mm-hmm. okay yeah it's us three because one of the things with some of the iphone recordings or the voice memos depending on where it's sitting sometimes you can't hear certain people so mm-hmm. when i was putting this clip together i really couldn't hear him too much so sorry vince you're you might be a little low in here but the idea of everything is there you can kind of see where it's starting to come together so this Mm -hmm. is just a little clip of the um, vocal practice So, yeah, it's just neat to hear. You yeah, know, you get to a that certain sounds point, awesome. You, you're kind of working it out and seeing what works. And that was another moment where I was like, I like the Sam kid, because uh, when we were figuring out the Here We Belong, um, you know, I was just like, you should go to the seventh so that you're not stepping on, I forget whose other note was like the natural end to that melody line. And you're like, oh, yeah, totally. I don't know. You just were like on board with everything. Oh, killer. Yeah, yeah we just, we worked well together, mm-hmm. and it was you speak, a lot of fun. You speak the same language and have the respect for e- each other. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that too. That just makes it. I love it. <laughs> oh, so good. So, so as you kept writing that, I guess you started introducing more guitar, and Carly started doing some accordion as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, We've got a little, we we've were got talking a little about, clip of that. We wanted to do, like, uh, a lot of Renaissance style yeah. for that. Yeah, like a magical. Yeah, so we got out the the accordion and the classical harmonies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, well, check this out. This is a clip, another clip featuring the accordion. I mean, it's that's it's, hilarious. It's, it's naked and it's not perfect, but that's how it all starts. That's, that's it's just trying it. Like, I, there's there, there's this melody. There's a, there's a thing. Let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah, not our best you performance know. of that song, but nope. uh, but but no. a pretty accurate representation of my accordion abilities. Yeah. And but that's where it was. That. That's where it was at that moment. Yeah, you know, that's that's the snapshot of where it was at that time, and you know, it's really important to have those moments. You know, and to Mm -hmm. record them, at least in the meantime, because you might just be riffing on an idea and hunting and pecking for that thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does, you know, but those just the process of it leads you to the song that eventually gets approved and then recorded and then released. Mm -hmm. I will say that I um, didn't listen to this song for a really long time. And then um, I like was going through my my uh, Google Drive all the folders, and I was like, "Oh, I rem- let's see what this song sounds like." And when I listened to it after you know months of not having heard it, yeah, those harmonies are just like still to this day. I'm just like, "Dang, <laughs> it was so much fun!" Like that was yeah, I think that... why we rehearsed it so much because it was just so much fun to sing. Yeah, especially yeah, I mean that song was I think kind of in my mind overshadowed by 
other songs we wrote so you, mm-hmm. you kind of forget about it in a way just because it was like the first one yeah but that's a really solid song i love listening to it like after also not listening to it for a while mm-hmm. yeah it's really nice and it's like that was so i think we just had a lot of fun doing the harmonies for sure yeah <laughs> and just doing it live was so fun to do those harmonies and chords and that was so much fun mm-hmm Well, let's check out the final version from Love on Holiday 2019. Uh, So written by Carly Bear, Sam Lyons, Vincent Gates, Carly on vocals and accordion, Sam on vocals and guitar, and Vincent on vocals and guitar. This is Here We Belong. That was fun. That was a fun one. And and that one, like playing like the the demos of it, like you can hear like that chorus was there. You know, the melody was there. Bam. You got a good hook. And then it's just figuring out harmonies, you know, getting verse parts together. Right. And it's just it's so interesting, you know, and I'm I'm coming at this from obviously the insider perspective, but just figuring out um how like <laughs> Do you ever just like wake up and look back at a song and be like, how the hell did we do that? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know why we ever decided that I was going to sing a different line than you and Vince sang, but it's also like super effective. I don't know. I just. Mm. That's that's what's cool about that song is it. We I kind of like have very little recollection on why we wanted to do it like that and how we did it. Yeah. Which makes it more interesting in a way. Cause right. I bet, I think a lot of mental, my mental energy was probably focused on time mm-hmm. and then Tucker back, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. And sometimes you're just throwing out ideas, and if you already have a couple brewing, it's like, oh, this is better for this. And you, so you're not paying attention to the idea necessarily when it's coming out. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I mean, you are, but it's just, it starts to blur after a while. Right. Well, damn, Sam, thanks for uh, being episode five. Are we done? Well, we're not done, but I just wanted to thank you. Oh. You know, I hanging out. I was going to say, I don't want to be done yet. <laughs> we you still know, have to listen to Chuleta. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't gotten that far yet. That you know what? We'll just have you back for another episode. For That's Chuleta. what we'll do. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the Chuleta special because look, it's eleven and you're a half gonna, minutes. So you're gonna dangle the Chuleta over me. 
But isn't my dad? My dad's on Shaletta too, isn't? isn't yep. He? Yeah. Oh, my dad. We're just, you know, we're just going to need an entire episode <laughs> dedicated to this song because yeah, there are so can. many, yeah. there are point. so many Good voicemails point. and so many stories. Like lyrically, okay, it's eleven and a half minutes long. There are so many words. Like I had to um, <laughs> make a deal with Sugar Ransom. I was like, hey, I'll fix your guitar if you transcribe this thing for me. Funny. Yeah, and it's like you're making deals to try to get stuff done because it was three pages of maybe four pages of lyrics and stuff. And, um, <laughs> oh, God, it's just epic. It's just epic. <laughs> but we might just have to save, like, yeah, let's its own save episode it. for that. I want to yeah. get cash in on that, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, ha- we'll have to get cash and Papa Bear and just do, you know, this really crazy A group very chat. special episode of Early yeah. Rises Club Presents. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that will be the debut of Chuletta. Uh, yeah, but for the segment uh, Died on the Vine, maybe Chuletta will have to be the first one because it's just epic. It can set the stage. Funny. I'm not. down. I'm so down. <laughs> Sign me it'll up for new, that. It'll be new territory. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and just let Cash talk. Just let him go. Because <laughs> once you get him started... Yeah, he's TV, and, baby. Oh, dude, and with all the delays and stuff, oh, you know, man. like just trying trying to get a word maybe in Maybe it's just... Or even just cash. I don't want to bother your dad. Your oh, he, pro- he'd love it. He's, oh, re- okay. he's retired on the farm. He's got time. Oh, okay, cool. What was the first early risers thing we talked about? Like, when did it start? Well, it didn't really have, like, a know. start. It was just sort of... I had already been coming down to the diner, like, first thing, because I can't sleep at the motel. Mm-hmm. So I would always be the first one up and I would like journal and just sort of watch people trickle in. And then Bruce, when he started coming, he was also like a a by eight o'clock kind of guy. So we just sort of started hanging out in the diner. It just, it just kind of kept happening. Mm -hmm. Because I, yeah, I have have trouble sleeping there as well too. (laughs) Sam, we need to get you a tripod. Once again, camera down. Down goes the phone. I hope this video isn't airing. Yeah, no, the video, you're safe. Nobody can see your fly Fisher hat or your (laughs) Ray-Bans. Yeah. (laughs) But listen, dudes, I got to fly. I have to eat something before class, and I have to call into work, and I'll do all that fun stuff. Wow. I'll keep working hard. Oh, yeah. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Sam, thank you so much for being a part of our podcast yeah, thanks, Sam. Yes, thank you for having me. Sam It's Lyons. my pleasure, my honor. <laughs> so yeah, everyone, thanks for listening. Early Risers Club Presents is brought to you by yes. the Holiday Music Motel in beautiful Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and by SteelBridgeRadio.com. Um, All right, we did it. Adios. Love y'all. Bye.